Well, for more on that story, we're joined by Dr. Paul Smith from the University of Nottingham in the UK. Thanks for being with us, uh, Dr. Smith. Now, former Justice Minister Christiane Taubira was among the few candidates who supported this vote. Tell us a bit more about her and why you think she topped the poll. Well, precisely for the reason that you've just outlined, that she engaged with it. Uh, the, the three principal candidates who didn't engage with it, Jadot, Mélenchon and Hidalgo, uh, they've, they've done badly out of it. She's impressed the, the people who turned out to vote or vote online. And as a consequence, she's uh, rigged the reward by coming uh, in first place. And that's exactly what uh, what was expected, in a sense, that, uh, that, that that she would do that. If you, you know, perhaps the others would have done better if they, or one can understand their reasons for not wanting to engage with the process. But it was certainly a way for her of, in some ways, recruiting a... Um, uh, a group of people, a large group of people to, to support her campaign. Now, looking at the upcoming election more globally, the most recent opinion polls have put the left in a very weak position here in France. What do you think this vote of confidence for Taubira means for the presidential race overall? Well, it was interesting that when she first emerged as a candidate, uh, when she first said, I'm a candidate, rather than just being mooted, then she was getting three, four, five percent. And some of those votes were coming from Macron supporters. And it may be that with the result of this uh, this primary, this people's primary, uh, that she could nibble away a little bit at the this kind of um, left Macronism. It may be that, uh, that, that that is more kind of... Uh, susceptible to the temptation of voting for someone like Torbjörn. So that would boost her. I don't think it's necessarily going to have an impact on the figures that we're seeing for, for uh, um, sorry, Jadot and, uh, and Mélenchon. But it might mean it might have a very serious impact on Hidalgo's candidature. Which is already uh, weak uh, as it stands. Thank you very much, Paul Smith, speaking to us uh, from Nottingham University in the UK.